Hi, it's John Barnes with Sunburst Shutters and Window Fashions. Today we're going to talk about the differences between blinds, shades, and shutters. There is some confusion. We get a lot of questions from time to time, and many customers call anything in a window a blind. But we're going to differentiate the three products today and give you some insight that will help you make the right choice for the right window treatment in your home. Now we're going to start with blinds. Now the way to recognize a blind is it has slats. These can be called louvers or slats. These are two inch slats and you get to angle the slats so you have the different visibility out the window. You can open them this way so you can see all the way out. You can close them all the way up and you can pull the cord or sometimes cordless so that the entire blind can go up into the top of the window. Now, these can be attached inside the window opening as this is showing, or on top of the wall above the window opening and just go over the whole thing. There's different types of control from uh, cords to a wand. There are wands that can tilt this uh, slats and um, a pull down or a cordless that will lift the whole thing up. Now, blinds can come in stained wood and in a number of different stain colors, or they come in a faux wood, which is usually a number of paint colors. Faux wood is great for a room where you've got some moisture, bathroom, kitchen, in the shower, or any of those types of windows where you get a little water, get a little moisture and humidity, and faux wood is great for that. Now, blinds are the least expensive window treatment, and as such, there's a life expectancy of about five to six years on a blind. So, okay, so in a nutshell, that's a blind. Okay, next up are shades. Now, the way you tell a shade is that a shade is a fabric material, not hard slats like a blind or, or shutter. Uh, there are different materials, different looks, different pleats, different colors, but it's all softer fabrics and materials for shades. A shade is kind of an all or nothing when it comes to light. You can allow some light in without, but you can't tilt like a blind or a shutter does. I can pull this all the way up and get a full view outside the window or roll it all the way down to get complete coverage. Now, one of the benefits of a shade is it offers blackout. And you can tell the difference between these two materials here. This one has blackout. You can't see any light coming in at all, where this one here is a le less opacity and it lets some light in for the mood. Now, you may want that in some rooms, but you may want some privacy in others. Shades come in a variety of colors, a variety of patterns, and a variety of control. You can have a shade that ha has cords to raise it, or you can have a shade that is cordless and you raise that by just lifting from the bottom up. When you stop, the shade stops at that point. Another option for control of a shade is motorization. You can, with a remote control or wall switch, press a button and raise or lower your shades effortlessly. Now, a shade can be mounted so that it's inside the window opening, flush with the wall, or on the wall above the window opening and hanging down over the window opening itself. A shade is more expensive than a blind. It can be the most expensive window treatment when you get into different fabrics and options. A shade life expectancy is seven to 10 years, um, and they're, they're good treatment with a lot of versatility for a bunch of different types of rooms. That's a shade. And finally, I want to talk about shutters. Now, shutters differ from blinds and shades in a number of ways. First, you have more light control with a shutter than anything else. You have the ability to move the louvers by pulling on the tilt rod at different angles. So if you want a little light in, you can do that. If you want to let a lot of light in, you can do that. If you want total visibility out the window, then you swing the panel up against the wall and you've got complete visibility outside. Shutters can also have a divider rail and split the top from the bottom so the bottom louvers could stay closed for privacy and the top louvers could open to let some light in. A shutter is solid and much more durable than blinds or shade. Now shutters fit inside a frame that can go inside the window opening flush with the wall or around the window opening and look like molding or casing that would normally be put on your windows. One of the other great things about shutters is their energy efficiency. They're very durable, they're, they're more dense, 
and they're more permanent than any other type of window treatment. As such, they have more energy efficiency characteristics than the other two types of window treatments. Sunburst goes the extra mile by putting a piece of weather stripping on the vertical style pieces that when it closes, enables it to not let any light or air in through the sides of the shutters. One thing you'll love about shutters is that if you have an arched or angled window, a shutter can be made to fit that shape perfectly. So whether you have a big sunburst arch or you have angled windows or you want them in any kind of a specialty window, these will fit the shape of the window perfectly and you will not have to put a square window treatment over a rounded or angled type window. That's a great benefit. Another benefit of shutters is because of the material, you can just dust them like furniture. They're really easy to clean. Whereas material, fabrics, blind slats, those are a little more difficult to clean. So you'll love shutters from a cleaning standpoint. Now, shutters can come in wood with wood stains in a number of different colors or in faux wood with a couple of paint options. And the faux wood is great for wet rooms like a bathroom, a kitchen, behind a kitchen sink, in a shower, and you can get them wet and there will be no problem whatsoever. Finally, the life expectancy of shutters is the lifetime. They just last. They're a permanent fixture in your windows, they're attached permanently, and you will love them forever. Now, I hope that helps you differentiate between the three primary types of window treatments. Now, if you have more questions, you can always call your local Sunburst Shutters and Window Fashion store or visit sunburstshutters.com. Thanks, and enjoy your window treatment projects.